Hi guys. How my client made a James Bond's Aston Martin DB5. I used a 3D scan model of the Aston Martin DB5. I work only with accurate 3D scan models from Forza, so all dimensions are the same as the original car. Look at their YouTube channel how they scan cars and you will have not doubts. Great technology. After that I divided this 3D scan model it into sections. The standard step between the main car buck sections 10 cm. Step for front and rear sections 5 cm. Then I saved a digital car buck files in the JPEG and DXF format. These digital car buck files need to print on a regular paper printer. You can use absolutely any paper printer. Or need to cut on a CNC or laser machine to obtain wooden car buck sections. From this wooden sections need to assemble a car buck. My client made metal sections and assembled the sections one after another to get a car buck. That's like Lego, but for men. Everyone can do it easily. Then the space between the sections need to fill with construction foam and the surface covered with construction putty. Alternative option, my client welded metal plates between the sections. After that, he covered the layout with putty and brought the surface to perfection. Next, need to make fiberglass molds for the further production of a fiberglass body. My client didn't have this skill either. The main thing is that you made fiberglass molds once, you can make many fiberglass bodies. The fiberglass body is made from the resulting fiberglass molds. All you need is epoxy resin and glass material. Nowadays it is available to everyone. There is nothing difficult about working with fiberglass. The finished fiberglass body is installed on a suitable donor car or on a homemade frame. The James Bond's Aston Martin DB5 is ready. The most important thing is to make the body. It's like Lego, but for men. Many of my clients make this without any experience. First, be sure to watch this short video. And after that. If you need digital car buck files, then. Welcome.